Welcome to the Gear Slam, your one-stop shop for all things guitar culture nonsense. I'm Aaron. I'm Phil. And I'm Cole. We slum it hard so you don't have to... Dude, so I was thinking about old skate Phil, shoes. Concentrate. Because, <laughs> you know how we were having that conversation yesterday about um, vans. Yeah, always. Yeah, like, do you get the sliding doors or do you <laughs> do you get like windows or trailer no hitch? Windows? Do you get the tow package? No, yeah. dude. Here's what you get: you make sure you get the ladder on the back. You make sure you get the bu- the bubble <laughs> the curtains, windows, the curtains in the you windows, need, bubble windows. You need the bubble window. You need the ladder. <laughs> And it needs to be maroon. Uh, there aren't that's, enough that's, cars with it, ladders on the back anymore. <laughs> and you also need um, a friend to do like an airbrushed like lady in a bikini with a big sword and a dragon. Yeah, or like a, an elk, you know, standing on the yes. top of like a, a ridge or something. Yeah, or just like a desert scene. I like Majestic that one. elk. No, I was talking about the shoes called Vans. Okay. Um, what? and then and then I was thinking. Well, we were talking about this before, and then I was you we know, were talking about the ones with the fat tongues, you know. Yeah. But then I was yes. looking up, so I googled fat tongue, giant tongue skate shoes, <laughs> and I found this picture that reminded me of the past. And it's the mm-hmm. air. Do you remember the Airwalk tennis ball shoe? Send it yes. to us, dude. I wanted those so bad. That was I like if we could still get them. Yeah, that was a great. Phil, that do you was not a great that? idea for a skate shoe. Dude, Let just me, Googling giant Google tongue it? skate shoe is... <laughs> Here, I sent you a link. <laughs> These pictures are all so great. Do they still make... Like, that's what I would always... Uh, well, I found one link, and it's like the best skate shoes of 2019, and it's one of them, the one of the things. Oh, my gosh. Tongue. I love this so much. It's cool, right? See, I always... Dude, that's so weird. It feels like... It feels like it's, like, mainlined into some part of my, like childhood you know what i mean i'm sure you had see you saw them yeah and envied them greatly oh yeah they're so great so if you don't know they're like these airwalk shoes that are like i had the vans version of this shoe that was like cut the same as this one um back in the day but anyway the outside is like made of tennis ball material yeah it's just like somebody and it's before making tennis balls they took like and it's like neon green yeah, oh, just the felt of tennis ball felt. Yeah. They're so cool. <laughs> uh, see, I always used to have, like, because my feet are uh, unnaturally wide. They're l- really long, too, but it's hard to, like, I can't wear a That's lot of normal shoes. My shoes are yeah, unnaturally but, but wide like, and unnaturally I can get shoes long. that are the right length, but it's still very, like, I went to this walking store the other day that only sells shoes. Was it called they, the walking store? <laughs> it is. It is called the walking okay. store. I know. And like they couldn't find a pair of shoes that was wide enough for me at a shoe store, you know. Um, oh, I thought you said white. I thought you said they couldn't find shoes that were white enough for you because you're so white. I, I do prefer <laughs> white shoes as I'm, well. I'm too, I'm too white for all mainstream shoes. <laughs> so they just, hey, I got, hey, I just sorry. got some penny loafers. white people shoes? He's like a little. He's looking a little ethnic to me. Still, I don't like the way the soul. But soul I would looks always. Like it's about to talk back. I would Do usually you have any Velcro Tiva sandals. <laughs> I would usually get like the bigger, Tiva. yeah, like the big puffy skate <laughs> shoes uh-huh. instead of like. I would also wear like Vans old schools sometimes, but like I guess it was because it made it look like I had an actual foot instead of just a big fat leg with thing on the bottom anyways like a big marshmallow with toes <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> like they looked like they were meant for my feet they were like an That's extension good. of my feet dude oh, some of these dude. are so great you were meant for me and i was meant for you apparently there's like a women's version of it that's just like the same but yellow instead of tennis colored those are cool too That's one thing that sucks about my life is that I have Dude, to. Dude, you can still buy them. 
I have to wear like dress shoes to work every day. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. And so same. Actually, you guys not anymore. I have an announcement. I have an announcement for our viewers. Uh, you guys, you two already know. But well, you told um, Bono and Fetch. <laughs> mm-hmm. You told Bonobos. Yep, I became a member of their family. But you club. didn't tell us. <laughs> so I have resigned from my conservative school job. You can finally smoke pot with your students. <laughs> And I have taken uh, up the mantle of the liberal. Yeah, you've taken it right it, up the you've mantle. Taken it up the mantle. <laughs> I love how both of our minds jump to the exact same thing. Of the liberal media, <laughs> the liberal agenda. Uh huh. I have a public school job. <laughs> nice. So now I can talk about um, LGBT history and reproductive uh <laughs> situations all i want you can say uh, the word condom now when you're doing your sex ed <laughs> section of english class of the english class mr asdauer this is english <laughs> class yeah 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 but Do we're you, doing a uterus why are you drawing a uterus design? on the board <laughs> why are you drawing a cow head like what? even cow in head? health no, class they is... usually just show diagrams they don't draw it themselves <laughs> They don't make all the kids get up on the board and draw it. We... So, yeah. New job. New job, new you. So are you going to have to yeah. wear, can you wear skate shoes to work now? Well, so I'm one step closer to wearing skate shoes. Here's here's the way this works. I mean, for the next three months, you can wear whatever you want, I guess. That's true. Yeah. Um, going. I'm going commando the next three two months. Um, Just keep talking. But uh, wait, what? <laughs> Tell us what school you're going to, so we can notify the administration. Maybe. Uh, no, I'm not going to say that. I, I said I'm going commando the next two months, and Aaron said, "Keep talking." Yeah, yeah keep know. talking. Finish your story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So here's the way this works. Next okay. two years, I am. It's a probationary period. Uh huh. And that sounds like a scary thing. Like usually most jobs like that's like, it a, hey, you're in trouble or school or whatever. But like. No, that just means, means that after those two years, you like can't get fired for anything, basically. Exactly. So two years and then I get tenured and then I can wear whatever the. Wait, do you think I they're going to fire you for wearing not shoes? dress shoes? No, no, no. I'm just going to do everything I can to like look to like trick I'm, them. Yes. to trick You're going to dress okay. for the job you want, which is just the job you have permanently. <laughs> Yes. No, the job I want is um, superintendent. So I'll wake, work my way up to that. Superintendent You're a bad Chalmers. Why so right you, now, why do you want to teach if all you really want to do is step stone over those students? Yep. I just want to freaking and use their faces as my footstools. You know what the? the you know what that sounds like? It's like the superintendent and like administration and teaching is like it's like the equivalent of like going into internal affairs as a cop or something <laughs> yeah <laughs> and all the, all the all the other teachers probably hate you when you get in there. yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh i remember that guy he used Freaking to teach with us now he's one of them internal affairs that's funny <laughs> so, the secret life of teachers pets oh dude the secret yeah. life of teachers pets would be yeah that is pretty a good. Great. A good name for a an adult movie. Movie, yes. Oh. No, I the Secret Life adult. of Teachers would be a good name for an adult movie. <laughs> the Secret Life of Teachers Pets is like I don't know what it's about. It's not really about anything. No, it's about those crazy teachers that like sneak their pets into their classrooms. <laughs> no, it's about it's like, like the students that? that teachers like and what they do. Why do I hear? Is that meowing? I was like, no, no, no. But then they have a kitten in their drawer. <laughs> yeah, it's actually the life of teachers' secret pets. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Well, this episode of the Gear Slump podcast, talking about guitar culture nonsense, is all sponsored by Sinusoid Pro Audio Couture. Check them out, sinusoid.com. dot com. Um, Pro Audio Randy Couture. I'm just going to mention this. So our friends at Sinusoid um, have a sister company called Squatch Design Co. Squatch! And they just announced sister, yesterday. What's that? 
Why is it not a brother company? Because this one's a girl. Sinusoid is the boy. Let's watch the girl. <laughs> Why? Because they're brother and sister. That's how it happens what, sometimes. What, what, but what is the gender? Do they make what? less money or something? Yeah. I mean, probably. People whistle at them when they walk down the street. I'll tell you this. In my mind, there is no distinction between the two genders. They're equal. So I don't understand what you're asking me. I'm gender blind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That sounds that sounds horrible. So anyway, so yesterday, Squatch Design Company announced a collaboration with Pelican Noiseworks. And it is like the coolest Pelotar you will ever see. Pelican Noise Works. I actually. haven't looked at our notes, but I'm just going to say they're our, they're one of our other sponsors. Cause I don't yeah, care. bud. Who knows? We have no notes. Um, but check out sinusoid.com. Um, get some cables. Get some. They have new straps that squatch too that look pretty dope. Sick. Yeah, um, I'm hoping to buy myself a new microphone cable here pretty soon, like a three footer, just for podcasting. I like how, like how you said that as if you're like saving up. Yeah, I'm hoping to get save it up for that mic cable footer. soon. It's gonna be like twenty bucks or something. It's a big, <laughs> Good luck. It's a big, it's a Good big luck decision. with that, Aaron. <laughs> I'm currently um, shopping, window shopping for colorways on sinusoid.com. I think I might do something a little different this time, like something super bright, maybe with the uh, dude. With the, is it the carbon? The with the carbon tech flex. If you get it like neon green, I have some shoes that would match perfectly. I was thinking like lime green. And Tangerine. Like that Cure song. Yeah. From the Cure. About Lime Green and Tangerine. Yeah. Anyway. So, Cole, last last time we talked, you were um, working on getting a Timmy. Right? Where, <laughs> where did we leave that? <laughs> no, I, think, I, remember. I think we heard the whole... I think... Well, we hadn't oh, heard. No, no, no. You're we right. had we heard that hear. you got the, the Guitar Center one, but I don't think we ever found out what happened with the other one. Yeah, that's you're right. Okay, so it was right. It was right after we last recorded that that it, he got to his twenty days. Yeah, and I let it go so, a little bit past twenty days, but I messaged him and said, "Hey, uh, hey, Pachuco, you know, it was supposed to. <laughs> it was supposed to ship last week." Cole, give uh, us the details. Just read the actual emails. Just whenever you're ready. Just just go ahead and jump right into the story. So okay, no pressure. I'm go look up the emails. Just. From Rouge Guitar Shop. All right. Where are the emails? On a private server. Where's the server? Anytime, anytime someone mentions the emails, so, I, I, I say, are those on a private server? <laughs> and like maybe 10% of the time people get it. <laughs> so somebody, so there was like some tweet about like, oh, Hillary Clinton's going to be like given the keynote speech at this cybersecurity thing. And someone was like, really is she the one we want speaking at a cybersecurity thing and i was like yeah it's like when you have the the kid who like got in a wreck drunk driving come in and talk to you about <laughs> the safety of, no you actually know. actually it's the opposite because <laughs> have you seen the emails no well then she's doing exactly right <laughs> that's actually a good point <laughs> somebody's seen him all right, so why don't you Pokemon Go ahead and okay? Your so story. he said, <laughs> um, just Pokemon Go update. I caught a shiny Geo dude yesterday. Pretty excited about that. No, no, not that. But no, it was a it was a pun. Okay, was, so I so I replied. It. Any news on the Timmy? <laughs> this is this was two weeks after it was supposed to Timmy. ship. And then they replied, "Hey Cole, I talked with Paul Cochran Friday. Blah blah blah. I think." <laughs> Name drop. He just likes to say that phrase. I talked with Paul. Exactly. You know, Paul. Name Paul. We were out getting drinks the other day, and uh, and he said, "Yeah, Not making pedals." There was a delay. A supplier. Blah blah blah. So then, like, I a didn't week ask later, for a delay. I want an overdrive. Exactly. Then, like a week later, I just submitted a PayPal claim and was like, "Hey, pre-orders have to ship within twenty days," and I reached out to him, and they like. They've already missed multiple targets that they told me it was going to ship, so I have no idea when it's going to ship, so I want a refund. And the way that PayPal claims work is you open the claim, but <clears throat> PayPal doesn't intervene right at first. They basically just start a message thread between you and the other party. So it's like impeachment. 
It's like the process of impeaching is not. <laughs> I don't know. Not the I don't thing know itself. Enough. I don't know enough about politics. Well, to impeach um, is like to bring charges against. Yes. Yes. So it's exactly like that. Thank you. It's fine. N- well, <laughs> I never disputed you. <laughs> so, so they basically, it, like, you know, every every time up to now, <laughs> where I had mentioned a refund, it was like, well, sorry, pal, you can go pound sand, you know. Like, have you yeah. checked? Hey, our, Cole. Um, you checked excuse our me, Cole. Policy? Have you read our policy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. So I just opened the PayPal claim and then they replied to it saying, well, we talked to Paul Cochran in the PayPal thing as, as if like PayPal cares about that or knows who that is. And, uh, and so we're going to have them next week and blah, blah, blah. And then at the very end, but if you'd prefer, we can just give you a refund. And I just replied, I would prefer a refund. <laughs> and they sent me I a, would refund. Prefer a refund. I would prefer the thing that I've been asking you for. Yes, for exactly. Several the weeks. thing that I've wanted <laughs> literally the since like an hour after I ordered it. <laughs> so, Good which Lord. again, like nothing, nothing they've done was all that egregious. But what was funny is I've had multiple people reach out to me in private messages telling me that like, Oh yeah, I ordered this thing from rogue that wasn't even supposed to be a pre-order and it still took like a month and a half to get there. And so apparently they're still kind of figuring things out a little bit. It's like, hey, Rogue, but yeah, so I got it, my refund. I got my Timmy. You're on notice. Get your shiz together. The other Timmy that I got from Guitar Center for like 110 bucks or whatever. I uh, already got it on my board. So You've had Timmy's before, right? It's not like yeah. a new circuit for you. Yeah, I had that. I had like a green one for a long time. Was it I sold green? it. I don't know why I sold it. Was it tennis? Dude, I want a tennis ball. Yeah, it was one of the pedal. tennis ball Timmy's. <laughs> Timmy ball. Dude, a pedal wrapped and, in tennis and ball. And like the tagline for it is so sick. is now the tone is in your ball court. <laughs> <laughs> the tone is in your ball court. <laughs> I have a I have an update on my Panther Cub saga as well. So oh, yeah, dude. this is a much so, more yeah, yeah. again. So two things happened this week about this pedal. <laughs> One is well, they're both kind of hilarious, but <laughs> they're, I'm going to yes. start with. Um, I'm going to start with... So when we so last left random. you... When you last left me, I had um, this, I had just gotten the replacement in. Okay. And we talked about the email. So I listed both pedals like that day. Um, and they sold relatively quickly. Well, I didn't list both. That's, that's not true. I sent the one back, but I shipped them out like the same day. So I listed it like that day and I sold it like two days later. So I listed it on like Saturday. I sold it on Monday. I shipped both pedals out the next, like that Tuesday. Um, so I was like, it's like brand new. So I'm like packing it to make sure it's good. Right. So I put it in, I had the box, the pedal box, the JHS box. I stuck that in a padded mailer. Like uh what do you call those? Flat rate mailer bubble demon. mailer. <laughs> These are good details. Thank you. The flat rate bubble mailer. I don't think I sealed flat that. rate and then padded I... envelope. Yeah, That's then I stuck, for. I stuck that inside another one of those, right? So it's yep. double padded. Du- double bag it. That's... And then I kind of folded it up, Best like tight. There. Yeah. And then I used a little bit of tape, I would say one layer of tape, to wrap it tight so it's like a package and not just like flopping around. Yeah. Okay. All of this matches how I would ship pedals. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, I use <laughs> like, like three or four of those padded envelopes basically and just keep like, like yeah. you know, and it wasn't whoa, like wait. a Russian stacking doll or whatever. <laughs> wait, did you use any uh cardboard ribbons? I to did protect not. the knobs. I did not. <laughs> I even okay. I was I even was like very careful to make sure that I put the pedal in there properly and like put the little the, I I gave him the gravity pick that came with it and the little button and the stickers like I left everything in the box so it's like essentially brand new. So, oh, in the meantime, I got another email from from FedEx <laughs> that is a, a, a label that JHS was sending to Aaron Hubbard for. You remember, Aaron, Aaron Hubbard is the man who mistakenly got. Well, we yeah. didn't know if he actually got it. I assumed 
that because we told them like right away. They sent us that message saying, yeah. "Hey, here's your shipping confirmation," and we replied saying, "Hey, that's not me, you <laughs> idiot." No, but then it's then you got a notification saying it arrived. Well, yeah, yeah but, that's but like true. before that, I was before that happened. I was like, well, maybe it's like maybe they canceled it, you know. But yeah, apparently something arrived. <laughs> but then, <laughs> like um, this went two days ago, this Wednesday, the 29th, which is like two weeks later, <laughs> we get an email from them <laughs> from FedEx that's a return label <laughs> back yeah. to JHS for, for Aaron, Aaron Hubbard. Hubbard. <laughs> <laughs> to send his panther cub that he got so i i'm like did you I really reply wonder, to that email? like no it's just a no it's just from fedex like like don't reply oh, yeah. um yeah, the automated so thing <laughs> so i'm like i wonder if like he reached out to them and was like um i didn't order this or like if they reached out to him and were like hey we need that pedal back <laughs> <laughs> which is like that's not a fun email to send like hey you haven't had any correspondence with us <laughs> recently but we sent you a pedal on accident now you need to send it back to us wow, but oh man that's like such a nice thing for him to do even then because you could be so easily been yeah like, i'd just I, be I like not, i didn't get you a guys. pedal i didn't yeah. get a pedal what are you talking about yeah what pedal i don't even know what pedals are <laughs> so funny uh, and so anyway so that happened in the middle of it and i was like oh poor aaron hubbard but the other thing is they send the label to us so he doesn't have that label <laughs> <laughs> I kind of don't want to say anything because then Aaron Hubbard just gets a free I'm not Panther gonna say cup. Anything. Yeah, it's possible in like, like a week they're gonna be like, "Hey, did you get to send that pedal back?" <laughs> He's like, "That um, is you never send me the label." That is a hilarious level of incompetence on their part. Yes, like because well, it's it's probably a mix of automated, like garbage. But right? you don't like think they'd got... be like, "Hey, remember last time we?" accidentally sent this to this to the other Aaron. maybe we should like double check this time <laughs> yeah like it again it comes back to like as soon as they've sent a pedal back to you once you fix it and send it back to them and it's broken from then on out they are your <laughs> top priority no matter what they are your you know what i'm saying like yeah yeah every mistake from then on out is inexcusable because you should have been triple checking every <laughs> single thing you did it's so funny it's hilarious to me <laughs> and of course like the part of what's i don't know you haven't posted about this in any group that josh scott is in have you um yeah a little, a little bit. bit in 60 cycle but home. you didn't He's say you were like all cagey in 60 cycle home i uh, ordered a pedal and yeah. it didn't come because you're freaking now, i've mentioned sissy. it like you're afraid of his, you're afraid of getting come. smacked no, I, by a i was not bananas. afraid of him i didn't want it to be a thing where he like <laughs> Here's the reason why I didn't do it is because I didn't want him to be able to like jump on and be like, "Oh, we'll yeah, yeah, for you," and then all of a but sudden now, he's the hero like, of my story. And then everybody, <laughs> and then everybody's like, "Look how cool he he is." With I'm gonna buy so many more JHS pedals. <laughs> to be now fair, their you pedals are post fine. It. Yeah, I will. Now that I have the whole saga, Shut but up, check Aaron. this out. You don't have the whole saga. Right? We're still waiting to hear what happens to Aaron. I'm Hub saying I. Oh well, that's Higgins. True. Haggard, Haggard, you What's had it right. Hubbard, Hubbard. you were right. Old, Hubbard. old mother Hubbard. Okay, <laughs> you mother Hubbard, <laughs> you old mother Hubbard, uh, <laughs> you mother Hubbard, fairy line cutter. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "What's that from?" <laughs> oh, my life, <laughs> an experience um, you had in the real world <laughs> in meat space. It's not from a '90s kids movie. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not from a cereal commercial. <laughs> so I sold so I sold the V2 on um on Reverb and this is how honest I am. I didn't list it as new because I listed it as mint. Cuz I took it out of the box and played it. Yeah. Cuz it's not, not new cuz you're not a JHS dealer. Exactly. <clears throat> yes. So I I listed it as, as mint and I sold it relatively quickly um for a decent amount of money. Not like a ton of money. Anyway, You're somebody doing got a good well. deal. What I'm saying is, like, the person who bought it got a good deal for a. But you also got enough battle. that you were happy with the transaction. Yes, it was a positive exchange for everybody. So I wait a while. It's like a week later after selling it, I get a notification from Reverb that I have um, feedback. I'm gonna find this message because it's so stupid. It's Hi, infuriating. This is a, congratulations to your feedback on the sale of your JHS Panther Cup V2. This is how it reads. 
<laughs> pedal is basically basically pedal is basically <laughs> brand new amazing delay sounds really intuitive first of all this is not a review of the pedal yeah there's a place for that this is a review of your transaction and then he goes on to say <coughs> dr star because this guy packed the sh star t out of the box and it took me like 10 minutes to get it open ha david sharp read that again so it doesn't sound like you're saying dr star so you're saying Doct- <laughs> Doct- a, star. a star the person dr star. star doc a star yes yeah, so it's a four star review for this thing because the reason it was packed a little too well <laughs> it was slightly difficult to get into this i was like bro come on we get frustrated when things when they dock stars for things that are actually bad when it's like oh they <laughs> left the velcro on and you dock star it's like nah that sucks but like i get it you know they might pull the velcro off and then it pulls the label off and whatever yeah, but like yeah. he's docking you a star for doing something better than you could have done it. <laughs> this guy took this guy took a lot of care in making sure this pedal didn't get damaged on the way, and it arrived to me in essentially brand new condition. <laughs> Four, Four stars. stars. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Anyway, so I messaged the guy. So I because I was like annoyed about it, and then I was like, oh, I was like, I'm gonna give him three stars. Blah blah blah. I ended up giving him five stars just because like. Whatever he gave me a, but dime. you said that you're gonna what you're gonna say his address on the podcast and then just let nature <laughs> take its course. Right? I gave him five stars because he didn't actually like do anything wrong as a buyer. Like that's his prerogative. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. No, though. it's not his prerogative. So to, now to mark they need you a down third for doing. It is his a it, wonderful. It really thing. is though. I mean, it is. Yes. Like if that if that made his experience less, then that's. They need a third channel. So they have like two separate review processes. You can review the transaction and you can review the product. So they need a third one so that you can review the other person's reviewing (laughs) style. This guy's really bad at reviews. (laughs) Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So I emailed him. I messaged him and I said, hey, man, I get that you had to use scissors or whatever to open the package. I just wanted to make sure it showed up in perfect condition. It'd be cool if you'd revise your ratings since everything basically showed up in brand new condition for way less than brand new price, period. And then he goes, I don't know how to do that. I will, though. I just thought it was funny, and now I hate him. <laughs> he thought it was funny to give you a four-star review? <laughs> yes. What a jerk, right? You should like. You should send that to Reverb and be like, hey, you have this freaking sociopath <laughs> in your system. Get him out of here. The problem is, like, so if someone gives you three stars it automatically gives you a chance to respond to them like so that your response yeah. shows up on under their review forever but so you could respond and stars. be like hey everyone look at how idiotic this person is <laughs> yeah we all which agree. i did on my other one <laughs> where i got the worst part is like i had five stars for so long <laughs> perfect five star rating for so long and now it's just gone to yeah now you're just like Hot Phil. Town. That's yeah. That's that's the part that I think is really great. Yeah, that's Phil's favorite part is that you <laughs> you acted all high and mighty. So superior. <laughs> I was. I was high and mighty. You were not though. You I weren't was, you were for not. a while because no. You okay. know why you were not? I was because you was lied. Because you lied about shipping a pedal. That's why you're not. Huh? You 100 percent lied about when you shipped a pedal. We're not talking about that. I know. I'm saying that's why you shouldn't have a perfect record. No, I'm saying I wasn't high and mighty before. Yeah, you were. I wasn't. I'm saying, I'm saying you don't. <laughs> I mean, I was not. high and mighty. I wasn't just acting high and mighty. I literally was high and mighty. <laughs> no, but here and, and here's what I'm saying. You, you were not as high as, and mighty as you believed you were because you had far less reviews than the two of us did. Fewer. And now that, you're, now that your number is going higher, you're getting... What you deserve, which is the occasional crazy person <laughs> giving you a not good review That's for fair. no reason. That's fair. Or a person giving you a bad review because <laughs> uh, you lied to them. Because you straight, <laughs> you were unethical in your business practices. That was, that was. Uh, unethical in your business practices. That was a um, disproportionate response, I would say. It was which not a one? proportional response. The three star review. I don't know. They're like three star that it's all like a perspective <laughs> thing. Cause like the reason you can't reply to a four star review is cause 
I bet it's most people just think good. like, hey, four stars, that's good. Like four out of five stars, that's like freaking. You it's know, good like unless you Godfather get Godfather Two. If you if all your reviews are four stars, <laughs> that would be so weird. Can you, yeah, I can't imagine like what but I would. But this think is just about like great inflation, like your four star rating. Yeah, you're no, the freaking idiot that's why I coming in and like complaining about getting care. a B plus in your class, and it's like, in reality, yes. he yes. he was kind of going easy on you. Yeah, you should have got a C plus. Yeah, it's above. You average. basically you you did the equivalent of plagiarizing for an English class. How's that make you feel, Aaron? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> I feel not good. <laughs> There's this. I'm really glad we found a way to make this about me being a bad person again. I know. Me too. <laughs> how, and I can tell you that nobody is happier nice. about it than Phil. <laughs> but also me. <laughs> this is called comeuppance. That's what it's called. So I posted about that four-star review in... Um, 60 cycle hum and people were like livid about it and like the yeah like i was annoyed so that i post so i posted it but the more people posted about how mad they were about it like the less i cared about it i was like yeah and they're like, like yeah, give him two stars give him one stars and i'm like yeah i'm over it i'm gonna give him five stars it's like care. when everyone else likes <laughs> likes a band that you're into like even though it shouldn't it's kind of like eh, right i'm not as i don't want to be excited about it anymore. anymore i feel like a poser now even yeah. though i started the trend yeah exactly i'm like Ian McKay and Straight Edge. Like, I invented Straight Edge, and then I'm like, I don't even care about Straight Edge. Like, it's just <laughs> like a song I wrote when I was... Just it's drink, a song I wrote when I was 16. Just drink some beer once in a while, <laughs> you lunatics. <laughs> okay. Are you guys ready for some Judge Judy? Yeah. <laughs> sure. I will say this. I do not like Judge Judy anymore. I kind of hate her. I know. I've kind of come full circle, too, because... Well, here's why. Apparently, anytime someone has a pit bull, she just, like, automatically disregards them and judges against them. That's not cool. Judge Judy, come on. Yeah, she's, like, straight racist against pit bulls. And she has other, (laughs) like, very... Like, you start to notice, especially... You can tell just from her attitude. For some reason, all the YouTube clips, they're either from like 2005, 2006 era uh-huh. or like very recent. Uh, sorry. And and like she's sort of gotten more and more belligerent over time. In a lot of cases, she just like gets very little information. <laughs> and then whichever person she likes more. Oh, she dude, rules check this out. It doesn't even matter. So it's good that she does that. I mean, here's what I... Let me read this to you from Wikipedia. The award limit on Judge Judy, as on most syndicate court shows and most small claims courts in the U.S., is $5,000. Ready? Here's where it gets crazy. The award for each judgment is paid by the producers of the show from a fund reserved for the purpose. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you lose. You yeah. don't have to pay it. Yeah, exactly. So, like, Which actually, you can if, tell- if someone sues you... And you go on Judge Judy, you kind of won. No, not only that, but they <laughs> they pay for you. And it's funny, too, because you can tell, like, they'll pay for you and whatever witnesses you have. And so uh, a lot of times <laughs> it's like extra witnesses. <laughs> yeah. So it's like somebody like the, it's these two exes suing each other for whatever. And then uh, like the guy, it's always the guy who is like, just Judge Judy will be like, who's your witness? <laughs> oh, that's my current girlfriend. Why is she here? <laughs> Uh, the character witness, and it's like because we wanted a free vacation to California, like obviously. That's funny. And then sometimes, like it says in there, they'll even give him like another vacation, just as. Uh, oh, really, that's funny. Yeah. So no, I think I don't know if that's always been the case, but yeah, and you can tell because nobody's ever all that worked up. That right. They lost, and that's why everyone always they don't has have a, to pay. That's it. why everyone always has a countersuit too, because it's like. Well, I might as well shoot my I'm, shot. I'm trying to like, get some out of here too. Hopefully, I, I have a chance of getting five thousand dollars right now. Worst case scenario, That's I true. get zero dollars. That's funny. Yeah, I did not even think about that, but it makes total sense. Yeah, so it's it also pretty... like completely eliminates all stakes. From, exactly, like, <laughs> and well, but the one the one benefit there is is because a lot of times you watch episodes where it's like 
this guy just declared bankruptcy and then yeah. you just like had a five thousand dollar judgment against him like there's no <laughs> way that person's ever gonna get their money you know right if it was actually that person <laughs> that had to pay him it's basically like a game show totally yeah it's a courtroom game show and if you win you get money yeah so That's but i cool. think i think that has evolved over time because it seems like in the old episodes they really uh you could tell they actually wanted like they were pissed off if they lost you know uh-huh. and you can tell in the newer episodes like nobody's <laughs> like the stakes aren't that high or whatever uh-huh. and but it does like you have to agree basically they'll have like you can write in and like submit your case or whatever but then they uh-huh. also have people that are just like scouring all these small claims court cases and then approaching <laughs> people and saying hey do you want to come on judge judy and sometimes it like boggles my mind that these people like the upside is that they get a free trip to LA or whatever, but like I'm sure a lot of, of the cases like local, a lot of the cases make them look like total really dirt bags. <laughs> and like, there's no way going into it. Uh, like a lot of times it's, it's like stuff they hadn't realized or they didn't know it was going to go a certain way. Like a lot of times there's no way going into it. They wouldn't know that they're going to look like the bad guy, you know? <laughs> right. So that's great. So speaking since we're on the subject of judge Judy, <laughs> speaking of people who end up looking like lunatics, first of all, my dad, uh, <laughs> he just texted me. It's nine o'clock in the morning. My kids ha- don't sleep past six thirty ever. So uh-huh. he, and I told him yesterday, less than 12 hours ago, Hey, we're recording an episode in the morning and then we can go on a bike ride. I'm going on with him. And, so he texted me, it's nine o'clock, you up? I said, yes, ha ha. Like, and then yeah, he called me. That's like, not what that means. Then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then he, then he called me. It's like, I told you I was going <laughs> to be recording. So he told me to give him a shout out. So there you go, dad. All right. Um, so, okay. We have a couple, uh, a Sorry. couple of judge Judy and executioners here. The first one is. It was two, like, probably 12-year-old girls who were suing. Well, you said girls with such disdain. <laughs> 12-year-old 12, 12-year-old girls. females. I just, it disgusts me to think how <laughs> how low their earning potential is going to be someday. Uh... Um, and one girl, the reason I liked this case so much, it was... It was one, the parents, obviously, the girls didn't care, but one of the parents was suing the other one for medical expenses because the girl knocked her over and, like, hurt her ankle. Uh. And so when, so when they're, like, interviewing the girls, she said, yeah, we were walking next to each other, and then I gave her a booty bump. And she asked what a booty bump was, and it was just like, you bump your hips into the Keeps person next to you, you know? And... And they probably said the phrase booty bump 50 times in the episode. <laughs> and it was so great. And like the first couple of times they were laughing, but then it became like a, just a normal nonchalant, very serious thing that, uh, that yeah. Booty bump was just now a part of That's our so everyday funny. vernacular. So this woman was suing because these friends who were obviously, there was no ill intent of any kind. Hold but, on real quick. Should I buy a Boss SD1 from 1984 for 60 bucks? Yes. No. If it's in good shape. Do you know it's from 1984? It's from the it was in the book. Because because that's your favorite book. No, just cuz it oh. looks cool and it's old. <laughs> no. All right, I'm not going to. Carry on. Guy sells one pedal and now he thinks he's freaking <laughs> Rockefeller over here. <laughs> Oh, I actually okay. have a new delay arriving, too, today. I can talk about that in a minute. A delay. But after Phil's story. Okay, so the woman is right. suing for uh, medical expenses and Plaintiff is suing for medical expenses and pain and suffering. What? Are you done, Aaron? Plaintiff is suing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, right. I'm done. I'm just doing Thank the you. bird part. <laughs> Please take your seats, ma'am. You can sit down. He always addresses one, like he says, you can all be seated. And then he addresses one specific person saying, 
ma'am, you can sit down or sir, you can sit down. And I can't, I haven't figured out if he's always talking to the plaintiff or something. Mm. It's such an interesting anyways. Okay. So, so how do you think they're real? And then there was a countersuit for like, I don't know, defamation of character or something. Some bull crap. The countersuit was, I want $5,000. Please give me $5,000. Yeah. It was like, I'm suing you because you're suing me. Exactly. I don't want to get sued. We're all going on this game show and like, it's like, I'm not going to go on prices, right? And just not guess a price. So obviously I'm going to, I'm not Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Did you see that? There was some like stupid thing about her. It was like a fake. It was from, I think Babylon B maybe. Said that she went on Price is Right and guessed free as for all the prices. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> that isn't like... That's not very funny, but it is a little bit funny. <laughs> it's a little bit funny. It's not It's, it's not super dumb. well thought out. Okay, so how do you think... <laughs> so again, there's no... Like, I don't... I'm not trying to like lead you guys or anything, but, you know, clearly it's these two girls playing with each other. They're friends, and then there was no intent to harm anyone or whatever. I will say she judged in the favor of the the is it plaintiff? The plaintiff is the one who's complaining. Court? So the plaintiff in this one was the one who was suing for medical expenses and pain right. And I just didn't know if they called him plaintiff still. Yeah, plaintiff and defendant. Okay, so the plaint. I think she sides with the plaintiff and awards her money. Okay, for but medical not the expenses. full five thousand. Okay. For medical only, not for pain and suffering. Phil? Um, oh, no. Uh, I, guilty. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. <laughs> Phil, we take your game seriously. <laughs> guilty. <Okay. laughs> no, you don't. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Um, guilty against the girls. Against the girls. The girls <laughs> They're all girls. The girls. The one girl the is suing and girls. one Both girl is suing another girls. girl. Oh, what? That's like saying Which who who won the they're Super both, Bowl. They're both the same. About uh, the Seahawks and the Patriots. They're booty bumping soul sisters. Aaron, come on. That's, uh, that's coded language. It actually is. They're the booty bumping. Sisters. Soul Sisters is very deeply, most people wouldn't catch on. It's so deeply coded, but there's some booty connotations. Booty bumping Soul Sisters. With soul sisters. They're booty bumping girls. I don't know. They okay. they be booty bumping. <laughs> they're not... booty bumping Barbie, Barbie babes. Dang it. <laughs> no, whoa, they're 12 years old. That's Barbie, Barbie inappropriate. Babes sounds way less coded. I mean, it sounds coded in a different way. <laughs> yeah, Barbie babes is like blondes with fake boobs or whatever. They're like booty bumping bro- bronies. <laughs> All right, carry on. Someone so needs to make someone needs to make a parody bumpers. of body moving, but with booty so, bumping. So Phil thinks all the twelve-year-old girls are going to jail. Okay, so I can <laughs> tell you, this may come as a shock to you, but Phil's guess is not accurate. That <laughs> both people won. Aaron, they both won. Aaron, no, he thinks they both lost. No, I said they. I said they both lost. Yeah, both girls are guilty. He said. Oh, yeah, exactly. Which, which a yeah. booty bumping. For booty, yeah, guilty booty bumpers. They were both convicted as booty bumpers, but <laughs> that was in the criminal trial. This is a civil trial. All right. Oh. So what happened? So, so Aaron, you're exactly right. She Boom. did a word, and, and she like she did like hammer on the fact that like you parents are idiots. Like nobody intended to do anything, <laughs> but. Like she caused this person to get injured, so it only right. makes sense for her to pay for her medical bills. They were just like, messing around, but she did. Cause if it. she hadn't been booty yeah. bumped, she wouldn't have <laughs> been injured. Okay, and and then she kept I'm saying, "I'm so good at this." She kept saying, "But for the actions of her, she wouldn't have been injured." And she kept saying, "Like, but, but for the actions, it's like, come on, Judge Judy, we know what you're doing here." Okay, so this this might be my favorite case. In a long, uh, this might be my favorite case that I've watched. I mean, hey, I say in but, a long time. I started watching like of three God, weeks ago. Go we all. Exactly, booty for the grace of God. Go I. <laughs> okay, so we have we have some. The there's three siblings. Who their parents? They all lived with their parents, but now they're all like in their late teens, early twenties. Uh huh. And the 
the daughter is the only one who still lives at home. And they have... She's the youngest, I assume. Maybe. I don't know. That's... uh, All right. Yeah. That's not uh, material. That's immaterial to this case. Sure. The... But is she a minor? I don't know what she does for a living, Aaron. She's probably a student. (laughs) So... Not a uh, minor, a minor. Is she a minor? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she a minor? She a minor. <laughs> Just don't show her your whiner, Aaron. Let me finish. Is she a minority? <laughs> yes, obviously. They all are. Age-wise. Age-wise. I consider, <laughs> I consider white trash a minority, too, just for the record. Has um, she reached full personhood? Yeah. So Legally. Yeah, your name. So, Aaron, shut up. Um. The case revolves around a set of workout DVDs that were <laughs> amazing in the home. And the brother told the sister, hey, do not do anything with those workout DVDs because I still want to use them. So don't get rid of them. Uh-huh. But the other brother, there may have been some malice behind this, took those DVDs. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm with you. So the brother again, workout DVDs. So you got to tell us who's on which side. Okay, I I haven't gotten there. I got to tell getting, the whole okay, story and then I'll tell you what they're suing for. All right. He's just giving us the details, Aaron. All right, Aaron. Okay, so the brother takes the DVDs, probably like to screw with the guy because it's like if you tell your brother, hey, it's really important that you not take these workout DVDs. Obviously, he's going to take yeah. the workout DVDs. Cause Don't you, touch my drum set. Because you're an idiot. Yeah, exactly. Like, he's going to put his balls on the workout DVDs, just like in Step mm-hmm. Brothers. Um, mm-hmm. So he has them in his car, though. And at one point, goes over to the other brother's house for, like, there's some kind of family gathering or party or something like that. So the brother who stole the DVDs has them in his car at the other brother's house. And while they're there, the brother goes and like breaks into the guys. They say break in, but it's like when people say I hacked into your Facebook account. And it's like, no, you just unlocked my phone and did right. something from my phone. Uh, he probably just had the keys or, or it was unlocked or something. Went yeah. and took all the DVDs and hid them in his house somewhere in his in bedroom, his, probably in his, in a different house. In his own house. So the brother doesn't live at okay. the parents' house. So the DVDs okay. were at the parents' house. The right. brother, the evil brother, brother stole a. them. Brother A. Brother A told sister to protect them. Brother B and stole them. Brother B yeah, stole why, them. Why aren't you giving... He booty bumped them. What are the names of these people that I think I'd be able to keep this straight if I had names? It's easy. No, the names Chad. are the names have been changed to protect the innocent, Phil. Come the on. One brother, okay. The one brother stole the DVDs that belonged to the other brother. Didn't okay. even belong. They were like the parents' DVDs or something. Uh, like nobody had any claim them. to these DVDs. <clears throat> and that is any okay. So, so the guy goes out. Oh, the brother. Oh, the DVDs are out in the car. Well, I'm gonna go steal them back because I wanted them, and I'm gonna put them in my room, hide them in my room, or something like that. And then the party is still going. It's some family gathering, and the guy goes to bed. So he's at his house. He stole the DVDs. He's sleeping good now because he thinks, man, I got these DVDs back. I'm gonna work out so hard tomorrow. I'm gonna be sweating to the oldies or doing. Jazzercise or whatever, you know, buns of steel. Tybo. Exactly. You sweat to the oldies was so good. Yeah, dude. So then the brother goes to leave, looks in his car as we all would before driving off to make sure that the workout DVDs were still intact. Mm. You can't blame him for that. And sees that they're gone and obviously thinks, oh, this other brother who cares an irrational amount about these workout DVDs must have stolen them. <laughs> so... He breaks into his room, spits on the man who's sleeping. <laughs> I love it. Wow. I love it. Because he stole his workout DVDs that, again, didn't belong to either one of them. And Was it P90X or? I don't know. I mean, we're uh, it's got to be say. something. Like, there must have been, like, weed inside the DVD boxes or something or <laughs> right. meth. I don't know. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe... <laughs> Maybe just to get on Judge Judy. It probably was drugs, and they just changed it to workout DVDs. <laughs> and uh, so, okay, Spitz. Sidebar. Hey, wait, quick. Uh, somebody, I was listening to a podcast, and somebody was saying that there's some podcast that 
uh, or there was some reality show where they they decided as a group that uh, because they can't talk about weed on TV that they were going to say spaghetti. <laughs> and so and people were saying like, man, they talk about spaghetti a lot on this. <laughs> and it turned out that like, no, it's because they were always talking about weed. Anytime they said spaghetti, it was because they were talking about weed. That's funny. I can't remember what it was. It was uh that's it wasn't good. Jersey Shore because when they talk about spaghetti, they're talking about spaghetti. <laughs> it was definitely not <laughs> Jersey Shore. <laughs> you get a pie in your face for talking about weed on that show. <laughs> yeah, what does it mean when they talk about gabagool? Is that something else too? <laughs> gabagool is um, <laughs> is capicola. Yeah. <laughs> you like to you slow down, gabagool. Gabagool. <laughs> I was putting on my jersey. Okay, so the brother comes in, spits on the other brother. Totally, totally valid response to somebody stealing workout DVDs that don't belong to you. You spit on them, obviously. This is the, the law of the street. If you're Italian, you throw a pie in their face. But if you're not Italian, exactly. spitting is appropriate. So spits on him. Mm-hmm. The other brother gets out of bed, punches him in the face, and breaks his hand. And the lawsuit is for the medical expenses that he incurred from having broken his hand on the other brother's face by punching him. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, See? How many That's... twists and turns did that? <laughs> wow. Okay. Like, way too many to follow, legitimately. Yeah. Okay, well, I actually listed this time, so I actually have a real opinion. Okay, so... Wait, which... <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> so did that all, did that all make sense? No. Yes. So re- describe it again very quickly. Okay. Oh, come on, Aaron. Shut, your mouth. shut up, Aaron. Or shut up, Phil. Both of <laughs> you shut up. Um, the brother. This episode is also sponsored by the Gun Street Wiring Shop. The brother that actually cared uh, about the DVDs. Okay, Gun Street Wiring Shop. Go ahead. Gun Street Wiring Shop. The Judge Judy of Wiring Shops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the second paid TV. T- no. The, the highest, the highest paid, paid TV series. Judge. Yes. No, person. No. On television. The highest paid person on television. No, no, highest paid judge. Second no. highest paid, second on highest TV. paid personality. Ellen is the highest paid. Ellen is oh. number one. When did that happen? Have you not been looking at her Facebook group? I mean, apparently not. It's kind of cool that the two <laughs> highest paid people in TV are women. Yeah, too bad like, they're white. Yeah, but like, quit whining about how women aren't paid enough. Look at like the two highest paid women are. Yeah, there's proof right there that women <laughs> get paid plenty. <laughs> yeah. Ceiling broken. More than more than on. they deserve, in my opinion. Okay. <laughs> really, so, if anything, men should get paid more because we're not even number one or two. Exactly. So the brother who actually cared about the DVDs finds a way to get him, steals him back. The other brother comes and spits on him because he got in his car and took the DVDs. So the brother who was spatted upon gets up and punches the guy in the face and breaks his hand, and he's suing for medical expenses. For having broken his hand by punching okay. his brother in the face. So this is the original thief. Yes, the thief is the plaintiff here. The DVD thief is the plaintiff. <laughs> so that's all he... just backstory. Exactly. <laughs> the suit but it's the greatest the... backstory ever. I I broke my hand punching you. Exactly for spitting on me. So I'm suing you. Yes. To fix my hand. But it all genius. started because they cared about workout DVDs. Yeah. Now that I know that they get paid by the show, I have like a whole new perspective. Totally, on it this. like and I'm yeah, like super so into I, the plaintiffs now. I learned that I didn't know that until uh, I started looking at Judge Judy's Wikipedia and and saw uh-huh. that you know the same time when I re- like realized that holy crap, she makes forty seven million dollars a year. So the like person anytime was, anyone does anything remotely dumb to me from now on, I'm gonna like submit the case dude, to Judge Judy. Freaking <laughs> taking your A to Judge Judy. <laughs> Okay, so the brother the brother's suing for twenty four hundred dollars for medical expenses. In in a shocking turn of events, they did not sue for pain and suffering. Uh I'm sure there was some kind of countersuit, but I don't remember it being like ridiculous. Okay. Gosh dang it. People keep distracting me while we're recording. We got like a super bad lightning storm last night mm-hmm. and like it scared the crap out of me because one of them, like you saw the lightning and heard it immediately and it shook our whole house and uh-huh. our power went off and apparently it was a house like two streets over that got hit by lightning so that's why it was so loud okay so how do you think judge judy ruled in this case 
suing for $2,400 for medical expenses for having punched the man and broken his hand. Uh, I'm going to say she judged in, she ruled in favor of the defendant. Saying like, yeah, of course you don't get any money for punching somebody else. Yeah, although I'm second guessing myself, but that's what I'm going to stick with. No, I'm, I, in a rare turn of events, I agree with Aaron. (laughs) Okay, this... I, both wrong. I'm trying not to just intentionally choose ones that have surprising outcomes, you know? I knew she was going to side with him. No, she oh. she did half. She said, okay. well, you shouldn't have punched the man in the face. But you First wouldn't have punched him if he didn't spit on you. Exactly, because like spitting on somebody incited. is... Yes, it's Spitting assault. on someone is assault. Yes. So she gave him $1,200 to cover yeah. half of his... See, I knew it. Dang it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's such a wild... But it all started out because this guy so cared good. too and much about And the whole family was, was there? Uh, the sister, I think the sister was there too, yeah. <laughs> Whose like side was she were, on? I'm trying to remember. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't even want to guess because I'd be, it'd, it'd tear me up inside if I guessed wrong. Okay, <laughs> so there's this week's <laughs> installment. And I've, I've kind of... Uh, stopped being interested in Judge Judy. So this may be the last ever installment, but we'll see. Oh, Probably not. I have two others that I didn't share today, so we at least have one more. I do want to say that um, commas are important because David Long posted in our group on... He said, according to Wikipedia, speaking of Judge Judy, she's actually the second highest paid TV star behind Ellen. So that means she's the third highest paid TV star. Which is not true. Yes. She's actually the first highest paid behind Ellen. She's the penultimate paid. But she is the second highest paid TV star, comma, Period. behind Ellen. Yes, behind Ellen. <laughs> Without a comma, you are incorrect, sir. So, of course, as I was talking, Aaron went and replied, wrong. <laughs> She's the first highest paid behind Ellen. <laughs> yeah. That's what's important. <laughs> now you know. So now you've been called out in the group and on the podcast. Use a comma. Come on. Okay. So that's that's all I got. Thank you for joining us. That's uh, great. Thanks, thanks okay. for friendship. Because nobody else has anything to talk about, do they? Well, not today. I'm going to save it for... No, you, I'm, what? you do have to talk about it today. He's joking to you. But what else were you going to say, know, Aaron? You had... But we're an hour in. Oh, you're going to talk about the new delay you got. Are we an hour in? No, not quite. My recording not quite. says we're... Oh, yeah, because we talked early. for 10 you're minutes fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about time. I... <laughs> Shut up. I'm saying, like, length. Don't worry about episode length. Okay. I, Stop okay. worrying unless so much about to, length. Unless you have to leave. <laughs> this episode is girthy. It's fine. We'll be why fine. does why does autocorrect either either everyone in my life is stupid and doesn't know how to spell lightning or Siri always autocorrects it to lightening. Yeah, that's dumb. Siri does dumb things though. Like, what's it, what did she do the other day to me? Oh yeah, I typed B like the word B B E. Which is like mm-hmm. completely appropriate, and Siri changed it to he. <laughs> yeah. So it, and it turned into like that would he funny. I'm like Siri, why? Yeah. That's dumb. Siri does that when I'm trying to type were all the time, and it corrects it to weir. I hate when Siri like changes a word, but not till you're like three words past it already. Yeah, and then it's like now I gotta. Yeah. <laughs> Siri try sucks, to use that man. stupid little phone cursor. Yeah. I hate technology. I wish we had no phones. Seriously, I wish we could go back to when you had to tap on the number three times to get the C, you know? I wish we would go back <laughs> to rotary phones. Yeah. Imagine texting on a rotary phone. <laughs> <laughs> you like got to do two, three times just to get a C. Yeah. And then you or have to if pause. you're trying to do like an X or whatever, you got to do like a nine a bunch of times. Yeah. I think T9 was like the greatest... Ever. Like, even more than the smartphone, T9 was, like, the largest leap forward in cell phone technology. Yeah. It was a great idea. That's really good. Especially when it became in predictive some ways, where it would, like, like, yeah, you could just type, you could just hit each button once, and yeah, there was dude. only a certain number of possibilities, you know, that you could be trying to say, depending on how Or you used to have was. an Android phone, and remember you could get the little, the swipe thing, swipe app? Yeah. Did you ever have that? No, but I heard it work well. Yeah, it's cool. So you just like slide your finger around. You don't have to tap. Yeah. Okay. 
Who's our Have final we talked about all our sponsors? Episode? Sinusoid. Oh, we kind of talked about Pelican Noiseworks, but um, if you don't, if you can't get it on the Squatch deal, go to pelicannoiseworks.com. Check out all their offerings there. Um, f- for real, the Pelotar is like probably, I would say the coolest fuzz pedal that I've ever seen. Yeah. The Half Horse is equally cool, uh, but different. It's not just half as cool? It's not. It's like half, but twice. <laughs> this is what it does. Because it's, it yeah, takes half, centaur, half of the it takes half the Pelotar. It's already only half a, ha- a half a horse. Yeah, it takes half of the Pelotar and then it doubles the goodness of that half. Right. Okay. Gotcha. So it becomes so it, equal. It, it is fifty percent of one, but it's twice as much of the fifty percent. I understand. Yeah. Okay. I'm with and you. And it's improved. Okay. So oh, it's, and so it's, it's equal to a Pelotar, but separate in from. in greatness. It's separate but equal. I would say. Mm. That's not coded language, is it? <laughs> Um, Did you say booty bumpers again? Also, <laughs> I check out those Pelican also, Noise Rigs booty bumpers. <laughs> <laughs> that Dude, sounds gonna, like a type really of. Like that sounds like a nickname for a kind of shorts, like coochie cutters. You know? No, I'm. I was going to say I'm going to invent <laughs> some some padded shorts for like for like roller skating or something called booty bumpers. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> so when you fall on your booty. You or like those right some padding, you know, yeah. those shorts that like football players wear at practice that have the pads like built into the compression shorts or whatever. Yeah. Call those booty. Oh, bumpers. oh, I know. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Or <laughs> the talking. That's what. <laughs> or the. Or you the watch like the NFL combine. Spandex. Don't they do that for you can get like cyclist spandex yeah. that have like pads in the butt. Yeah. So you're not only can you get them. I am currently <laughs> wearing them. <laughs> Just for fun. Well, because I'm going on a bike no, ride. No, he's ready to, for his bike ride no, for his dad. I know. It's my idiot dad who <laughs> asks if I'm awake at 9 o'clock in the morning. Your idiot dad. <laughs> Cut that out because I don't want to lose my inheritance. <laughs> it's all right. Shout out to uh, Mr. Duke. <laughs> Papa Duke. Good morning. Dad. Good morning, Mr. Duke. Um, okay. <laughs> I also want to point out. Good morning, out, Mr. Duke. I know. To all y'all who have a, um, who are part of our uh, street crew, mm-hmm. uh, the Slum Hard Street Crew, we one of the perks. I'll just you know point this out. It's pretty cool, although we haven't been using it lately. <laughs> but cool. we have a Marco Polo group. It's not that cool. It is pretty cool. Um, I'll say there's you, a reason we haven't been using it. What's that? It's not that cool. <laughs> no, but wrong, wrong. <laughs> Okay. We're just waiting for Fair. the right person Kay. to get stuff. I, I want to get your guys' opinion on this. Before you it... do that, I want to give a special shout out to this guy. I'm trying to find his name because I forgot his this name. This guy, our newest Travis <laughs> something, our newest Patreon pa- patron. Patreon. Um, yeah, one of our new patrons is a man named Joe Travis. Joe Travis, if you're out there, man, so nice you. they named him twice. Thank you. <laughs> The other name is Manhattan. <laughs> Joe Travis Manhattan. Thank you for your thank you for your patronage. Thank you for your very special gift of spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, dude. Wait. Thank you did, for the workout the DVDs. Said, <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink. Is he the one? Is he the one who wanted a shirt? No. Somebody. So there's somebody else who said, "I want a that shirt." That was Eric Aaron. Garibaldi. Yeah. This guy, okay, and you're gonna. Joe Travis doesn't want a shirt. A Garibaldi. There's not <laughs> someone that? else. There's only one person. What's Garibaldi code for? <laughs> it's my favorite chocolate. <laughs> okay, have you been to Garibaldi Square? Garibaldi is is chocolate with Rogaine mixed in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so dumb. Uh, wait, so, so Aaron, yeah. When has has uh has Garibaldi has he uh, gin, sent you money? No, we I mean, don't maybe, talk about so when he now, does. We don't talk about that on the when podcast. he does. Are you gonna? That's crass, Phil. No, I'm just saying. When are you gonna mail him a shirt? Is what I'm saying. When I get money. Really? That's how it works. 
I mean, that's how it's supposed how to How many work. business days after he gives you money? Yes. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's what Phil's asking. That's what I'm asking. When are you going to do it? Huh? <laughs> yeah, Phil, when are you going to edit the podcast? Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Is that below the belt? <laughs> when are you, no. you going to remember our password for anything? <laughs> <laughs> You want to critique my commitment to the success of this podcast some more? Okay, Aaron, tell us about the delay pedal you got, and then we'll then we'll wrap this mofo up. So I asked for advice, and the advice was pretty typically bad. Um, everyone, most people suggested that I. So I I said I'm looking for a delay about a hundred bucks. Like yeah, use. and they all said like save your money and quit being so poor and buy. A no, they, everyone was like get a flashback. Which yeah. no, I'm not going to get a flashback. Um, although the flashback is fine, I kind of hate it also. Um, I got, got a lot of people saying, um, what do they say? Like, so time flashback was on there. A lot of people said, check out the, well, the DM2W was, was a pretty highly recommended, um, GD7, of course. And then super concentrated formula that removes stains that won't harm fabric. <laughs> What's the the carbon copy? Those are like the four big ones that yeah. kept getting repeated. But I ended up buying um, an Earthquaker Devices Disaster Transport Junior uh, because it sounded cool. No, I got the regular. Okay. So there's three versions of it. How big is it? Because um, I have the Junior. It's, it's bigger. It's like um, oh, that makes sense. Party animal size. Oh, Altar okay. size. Yeah. Um, I I mean roughly. I think they have their own. Like it's a different enclosure, it, but so this is like the equivalent of hot dog ham style and hamburger style. Is it Pelotar style or party animal style? It's party animal style. So okay. the earth. So it has um six controls on it. Has delay time. Well, I don't know what that's called actually. Delay. I'm doing really bad at this. Yeah, Aaron, tell us about that pedal you got. <sighs> Well, I haven't gotten it yet. So it, what it is, it's a digital <laughs> delay that like that emulates an analog delay. Um, so it's um, it has rate and depth for the modulation, and then it has repeats, tone, time, and mix for the delay. Um, it has two foot switches. One is to bypass. One's the bypass to like turn on the signal, and the other one is for the modulation. I think so. You can turn the modulation on or off with the foot switch. Nice. Uh, which is cool. So it's like a short-ish delay. It's, I think it only gets like 625 milliseconds or something, um, which is kind of what I wanted because whenever I get long delays, I always don't know what to do with them. So I'm pretty excited delay. about it. It's interesting that it's only 60 because usually like analog delays have a very specific delay time because it's associated with that delay chip that they right. all use. Well, I think that the whole point is that it's like, it's trying to. Mimic it's that. meant to do that, and so yeah. they like specifically limited it so that they could mess with other things instead. That makes sense. Of just making it a long delay, so it's pretty fun. I'm kind of excited to get it. The modulation is like, um, I think it's pretty intense. As far as like the like, depth like when you're of camping. It. Yeah, it looks really pretty intense. <laughs> it's not about the way the sun shines through in the its roof. Field? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'll probably talk more about it later once I've played it, but I'm excited. And it doesn't exist anymore. I mean, they don't make it anymore. Ooh. The one that I got hopefully exists. But <laughs> Wait, did you Oh, get it dude, I didn't know this, though. Did you know? So you know how um, Stu Mac a while back released the the JHS pedal kits? Yeah. Do you remember that? Apparently, they have Earthquaker Devices pedal kits now, huh. too. I didn't know that. So they have one for the Disaster Transport. That's cool. Which is cool. I wonder what else they have. I'd buy that. I'd buy that for a dollar. Um, they also have the white light. <laughs> oh, the Monarch. Both old, Phil. <laughs> Dude, the Monarch is one of the pedals that I've wanted for a long time. Is there like orange amp style overdrive? You should just buy, buy my build catapult. It. I don't want that, though. Oh, guess what? Uh, First what? of all, I know I talked about the Timmy. I didn't really mention it. I've played it a bunch since I got this new one, and it's just as good as I remember it, and I'm very happy. The other thing, I traded the Walrus 385 and the Walrus Red straight up for a pedal, and I will tell you what it is next time. 
We'll have some more pedal news for you next time, too. It's, it's coming in the mail today. Actually, I'll post about it before this comes out anyways, but I bought, I traded it for a stack for one of the f- oh, sweet. F- flipping flippers stacks. And then Solid gold literally like an hour after I made the deal with Will LaHue, freaking uh, Douglas King posted his for sale, and his is serial number one. Oh, and I'm like, nice. gosh dang it. Dude, so there's another funny thing. <laughs> When There's a small li- part of me that's oh, considering okay. buying both of them and selling. I kind of want one. How much is it listed for? Two twenty-five. Oh, that's too much. Um, when um, when I was looking for a delay, like literally three people messaged me within the space of like two hours, offering me their um, like my pedals wells delay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> that's, that's so funny. random. <laughs> that guy never got back to me. About the oh, Timmy guy. clone that what he was a man, what a man, which is what fine because I was, man. I was gonna have to just tell him like, oh, I already bought a Timmy, but I'm gonna tell him to shove it. You're about to booty bump exactly. him, dude. I was gonna booty bump him so hard, man. Okay, um, we will have other pedal news soon too, right, guys? Are you excited about that? Mm. Oh my gosh, yeah. I can't even handle it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I'm very excited. Do we have a confirmation number on? Uh, I don't think they've. I mean, I don't have the password, so I can't check. But I don't think I don't think yet. they're built yet. Yeah. Oh, I think he just well, got the good. enclosures in. I mean, okay, we'll talk about this after. Okay, thanks for friendship. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need to go <laughs> on a bike friendship. ride. Thanks for friendship. Thanks for friendship. And thanks for friendship. <laughs> Oh